Good morning, church family. Here's some hope for Wednesday. It's from Joshua chapter 5, beginning in verse 13. It says, When Joshua was by Jericho, he lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, a man was standing before him with his sword drawn in his hand. So Joshua is leading God's people into the promised land now. Moses has died. They've come out of Egypt through the wilderness. And now it's time to enter the land of promise. And Jericho is the first stop. And just before they arrive at Jericho, Joshua has this vision of this divine being. He has this experience of this angel. Joshua went to him and said to him, are you for us or for our adversaries? Are you friend or foe? And the stranger said, neither. For I am the commander of the army of the Lord, and now I have come. I'm not for you or against you. I belong to the Lord. My identity and my purpose is of the Lord. That's really an important lesson for us today because we're wanting to be pulled in one side or the other side. Are you a Democrat? Are you a Republican? Are you for them? Are you against them? Which side are you on? And our best answer is neither. No, I belong to the Lord. My primary identity, my foremost allegiance is to God. And Joshua affirms this when Joshua says, uh, what message does God have for me? And Joshua fell on his face to the earth and worshiped and said to him, what does my Lord say to his servant? And then the commander of the army of the Lord says, take off your sandals from your feet for the place where you're standing is holy. In other words, worship, worship. And in doing so, the angel was saying to Joshua, you, like Moses, belong to God. Your primary identity, your primary allegiance is to God. Now, what do you think would happen in our world today if all of us you know, took off our sandals, bowed, and worshiped before the Lord God? Do you think what's dividing us today would still divide us if we all did that? Listen. Let's start a spiritual revolution. And it begins on our knees with our shoes off before a holy God in worship. Father, we greet this day in worship before you. You are almighty. Help us, remind us our primary identity is in you. You love us. You care for us. Oh God, help us seek you throughout the day. In Jesus' name, and the church said,